And welcome back to the Hot Lap. We are talking, is this new F1 2025 launch thing a good idea? As we know, it's going to be the O2 Arena early next year in February. All 10 teams are going to be there. They're actual official cars. Probably not. But is it good or is it bad? So this is the uh, official thing on the F1 website. F1 confirms plans for the first ever season launch at the O2 Arena. So, well, hey, it is in the UK for you UK F1 fans. And it's announced um, what is a groundbreaking season launch at London's O2 ahead of the 2025 campaign. Now, it says for the first time in history, the entire grid. I don't think it's the first time. We'll get to that in a bit. But the first time in history, the entire grid of 10 teams, Alpine, Aston Martin. I like the fact that they have done it alphabetically. I've just noticed. Alpine, Aston Martin, Ferrari, Haas, Kick Sauber, McLaren, Mercedes, Racing Balls, if that's what we're calling them now, not V Cup, Red Bull and Williams, and their 20 drivers and respective team principals. They're all going to come together for a special night to welcome in a new season. No doubt it will be live on Sky. I have no doubt it will be free. It will be live on YouTube as well, definitely. So it says this on the premiere. It will take place, and I'm assuming this is going to be UK time, between 8 and 10 o'clock on the 18th of February 2025 at the London venue at O2. Um, and is being brought to life by the creative visionary. This is the dude that ended up, uh, the guy that ended up having the Las Vegas opening. So let's quickly, I'm just looking at my phone to exactly when the 18th of February is. Is it a weekend? What day is the 18th of February 2025? And it is a Tuesday. Weird. Would you have held it on a Friday or a Saturday? But Tuesday? Apparently Tuesday it is. So, um, during the interactive season launch season launch event, sorry, guests can expect interviews with key figures from the sport, including we've got drivers, as we know, team principals are going to be there, and obviously special guest presenters, etc. Um, tickets, if you would like to go, they start at £58 and £113. So, not cheap as chips but i don't think ridiculously expensive either either these prices include booking fees a transaction fee of two pound fifty this is uh, the booking fees this is one thing i never really get booking fees okay who is doing the booking when you are inputting all your stuff on the internet and you have a booking fee please someone explain in the comments you're the one doing all the work you're the one putting your pay card in all your details your email address providing that place with data and they charge you a booking fee what a joke anyway rant over sorry fans who cannot attend in person will still be able to watch the action live as i've just suggested i think it'll be on youtube um sky for the first time for the first time it says we'll bring together not sky uh together for our fans all 20 superstars of our sport and some special guests to officially kick off our new season and mark and this is quite important and possibly why they're doing it the 75th year of formula one yeah 2025 it may well be a classic season look how good the second half at least of 2024 is it's close uh yeah lando norris and mclaren have done their best to make sure it's not as close as it could be but still it's closer than we all thought it was going to be after Bahrain. So let's be fair. That is good. Absol absolutely. Um, the president, uh, Mohammed uh, of the FIA, Mohammed bin Salayem, said the FIA is delighted to join our FRM colleagues and all the teams in the staging of the inaugural Formula One season launch event. The occasion will serve as a fitting wow. That's just disappeared, hasn't it? Um, anyway, he spoke. He said some words. Let's, let's carry on. So here's Autosport. And this is what we want to talk about. Why F1's 2025 livery launch event will be an important litmus test. It says F1 plans for a season launch have been revealed. But is it asking too much for fans to pay up to £113 a ticket? I think that is on the pricey end of maybe reasonable if you've got the best seats. I mean, like, if you are within, if you've ever been to, like, events or even, like, wrestling events where there's a ring at the O2 Arena, and if you've got front stage seats, they actually cost, like, hundreds, like, 400, 500, I think, um, and some. So if you're right there and near the front row, if you've got these, you know, if you're purchasing the big tickets, if you're going, and you're almost within arm's reach of the drivers, yeah, I think that's worth it. So what's interesting here, as I said, it wasn't necessarily the first time they've done something similar. Back in 2019, Formula One buses held a season opening event in Australia to kick off the new campaign. All the drivers attended the show, and that was held on the big stage in Melbourne's Federation Square, which incidentally was free, and it was a stand-up success. Okay, they're right. 
the, 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 the principles and the cars weren't necessarily there. So, okay, yeah, uh, humble pie for me. For whatever reason, though, it was never repeated, it said. Presumably be due to lack of fans of the opening races in Bahrain and Saudi. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I get it. Uh, we have Australia back, though. Long live Melbourne, Australia for the first race of the season. God, I remember when, when it was Brazil. Um, pre, was it 90? Yeah, yeah, pre-96. So it says F1 has now revised the event, which in 2025 will take the form of a livery unveiling for all its 10 teams. The real cars are not going to be there. Um, Autosport have said that it's a great idea on paper, a way to engage the fans within a city centre and generate interest during the winter leading up to what's going to be winter testing. I'm excited. I'm going to watch it, whatever. There's a couple of butts. All 20 drivers are going to be there. Yep, um, they're kicking off the 75th anniversary. And if the likes of Sambo Williams are hassle content with the... And this is, this is what's interesting. And this is what will be an incredible evening as they do the 2025 liveries. This is the first potential sticking point here about this new F1 launch. If the likes of Sauber, Williams or Haas are content with the limited global exposure they will receive, given they are going up against the bigger teams who are likely to attract more more attention, essentially, particularly with Lewis Hamilton being the unveiled as the Ferrari driver then great. However, where the sponsors would agree is another thing. Now, the reason they're saying that is when Williams, for example, launch their car on a random Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, they're the only team to do so, for example. Everyone, they get all the headlines. They get all the motorsport headlines. Look at this. Look at Williams. Oh, look at the new livery. This is what, this is what Alex Albon said. This is what, for example, Carlos Sainz said. These are the new sponsors. They get maximum exposure. Now, the exposure from this event, more eyes may well be watching it, including the casual fan. So it's going to be, it's going to be an interesting one. Um, and as you know, obviously, like with uh, Kimi Antelay at Mercedes, particularly with Lewis at Ferrari, uh, Red Bull, whoever's going to be uh, <laughs> Verstappen's teammate next year, it's going to be, it, I mean, that's, that's going to be quite exciting, but it's going to take away from some of the lesser teams. So that carries on saying a pre-season launch date is usually picked up, picked by a team so as not to clash with a rival. And it means teams get a crack at unveiling their challenger for that season, giving it valuable brand exposure and airtime to its drivers and team boss. That's pretty much exactly what we've been saying. However, launching all 10 teams the same day is going to reduce the impact unless they still hold a separate event such as a shakedown at a track, for example. I think that would be best you get the best of both worlds have this launch to launch the liveries and then maybe you launch the actual car at the shakedown test and there you can have like the video of the car leaving the garage for the first time hopefully without stopping probably because these are you know same rules as last year 2026 is going to be interesting though um, but yes, I'm so I imagine. Oh, it says F1 ultimately deserve credit for conceiving the event. However, fans between a charge between 58 and 113 ticket could be a problem. It said it is understandable that F1 is trying to benefit from its increasing fan base, especially a younger demographic. F1 merchandise is now commonplace on high streets, and at this point, around a quarter of the costs are of the F1 ticket, it offers fans the chance to see their heroes in an accessible location for 113 pounds. It said the organisers have promised top class entertainment and special presenters. In any case, such as F1's popularity, it, it, yeah, and like Autosport says, it is going to sell out. Now, it's likely the older generation among us will balk at the cost, but the reality is this is not the audience F1 are targeting. Rather, it's pushing for the younger fans. If they are willing to cough up and enjoy, then what's the problem? As long, yeah, as long as F1 is trendy and sexy, absolutely. But F, it, F1's always going to regress if it's really boring. Remember, 23... The end, you know, the whole of 23, it's going to, everything went down. You still got your hardcores. You do need to cater for them, I think, certainly. But I think the hardcores are going to be watching. I'm going to be watching it from my sofa. Because basically, the O2, if you live near London, it's fantastic. If you live quite far away, it's a bit difficult. It's not difficult to get to. But then finishing at 10 o'clock, it's going to be last train's home, isn't it? Depending how far you live, do you really want to have a car? Um at the O2 in London, it's going to be very expensive to park as well, unless loads of you go. But anyway, I think ultimately it is a really, really good idea. Let's just see how it plays in practice. Could they do this every year, possibly, or is this just a 75th anniversary thing? That may well be. That may or may well be true as well. We'll have to see. Only time will tell. We'll speak to you soon. Please like, subscribe if you made it to the end. You are an F1 champion in our eyes. If you made it to the end and gave us a like, ah, multiple champion. Stay safe and speak to you soon.